Good afternoon, Beats of Ministries, friends, families, and associates. Welcome to another awesome and magnificent and glorious day that our God has made. Welcome to the El Shaddai, the Elohim. Welcome unto the presence and in the presence and under the canopy of the Shekinah glory, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Welcome into his presence. I bless God for all the goodness, all the wonderful, wonderful things he's doing in your life and my life. And I thank God for Jesus who was washed me with the blood and sanctify me in truth and righteousness, who has turned me from the road of destruction and place my feet on the paths of life. He has turned me from sin to righteousness. And he said, go forth in that way, for in that way of righteousness, there is no death. Follow me down that way of righteousness. Therefore, I follow him down the way of righteousness. I, I liken Jesus unto water. I drink um, fizzy water. Some people don't like fizzy water. People find it abhorrent, um, fizzy water. But I like fizzy water. I like the fizz. And I, like, I just like it ice cold, fizzy water. But some people say, how can you drink that? How can you... How can you drink fizzy water? And they despise the taste of it. But to me, it is very tasteful and it tastes nice and I drink it and I drink it a lot. It reminds me of how I find Jesus, I love Jesus and Jesus loved me more importantly and other people can't understand why I love Jesus because I'm loving something they don't like. Just like the fizzy water I like, they don't like. Same it was Jesus and my Father, my God, His Father and His God Jehovah, because I've turned my heart to follow and love them. People don't understand why, how could I love something that I cannot see? How could I love something that I, I, I have not felt and touched? How can I love something that is abhorrent to them? For they only love the things that they can touch hear and feel they walk only in the flesh and by the flesh do they make their opinion of any entity that they come into contact with they go by hearing seeing smelling and touch they go by their five senses and tastes they have never walked in the spiritual realm where we walk by faith and believing that God is able to do the impossible things for us. That God is able to move us beyond our capabilities and give us strength beyond our abilities. They have not stand under the Shekinah glory. So they can't understand why I would love Jesus. Why you would love Jesus. They are only used to the natural. The natural to me, if I could just use as an example, as a metaphor, is just like plain water. Me and them are drinking water. They are drinking the natural, while minds have the fizz, which is the supernatural. They walk the natural sense and I walk where the fizz is 
the supernatural because when you have the supernatural you're walking with not only the physical flesh but with the spirit of God that is where I would compare the phase not that God is a phase or anything like that it's just an analogy I'm giving I'm just trying to show you say they although we are both in the flesh although we're both drinking water the water I drink have an added dimension which they don't like which they cannot comprehend the water that I drink have an added dimension which is the fizz or the added dimension really what I want to bring across the point is God my life has been changed because God came to dwell within me I'm no longer only in the flesh I live in a supernatural realm and day by day the old outer flesh is getting older the, the outer flesh is decaying because we're traveling through time and the flesh will change over time every flesh change over time but inside me God is doing something inside you God is doing something that they who only dwell in flesh are not receiving. God is creating us new day by day. Day by day, the inner man is being strengthened. We are going stronger. Stronger in power. Stronger in might. Stronger in knowledge. Stronger in resistance to sin. We are going stronger because... The supernatural is with us. We no longer only dwell in the natural. We only we don't longer only drink the flat water, the natural water. We have come into the supernatural, where all things become possible, where by faith we can command mountains to move when they go and cast themselves into the sea whereby faith when we doubt not all things are possible we have entered into a different realm we have hope beyond the grave in this realm we have hope beyond the grave we do not just live for tomorrow in this realm but we live for eternity therefore we serve an eternal god because we live for eternity they might not like the supernatural they like the works of the flesh and the works of the flesh will they do but I and you have enjoined ourselves and has been joined and has been indwelled by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we don't walk the way they walk. We were there. We used to be there. We used to walk that way. We used to be that person. But now we no longer drink the flat water. We're not supernaturally attached by God to God. And we are now being created anew. And the author of our new life is God who is faithful to do the good works until he has perfected in us through Christ the things which he had preordained that we should do so yes people don't like the fizzy water that I drink 
Just like people don't like Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and people don't like our God that we serve. It's okay. Every man have a choice how they will respond to the word of God. By the will of the Almighty and by His everlasting grace, I've chosen to make room in my heart for my Lord and my God to dwell. I've chosen to become a servant of the Most High God and to walk in the path of my Lord. I've chosen, as I would put it, the fizzy thing, the fizz in the water. I don't want to be without the fizz anymore. I never want to go back to the natural state. I always want to walk in the supernatural, where the Spirit of God lead me and counsel me, where the Almighty direct my path, where I walk in the word and light of my God, where he illuminate me with power and strength, where he teach me to follow him. I may, may, I may make mistake here, just like you, but we have a high priest who is always making intercession for us on the side of the supernatural. No longer are we going after the things of the flesh to delight ourselves in the works thereof. Because we have learned from experience that the way thereof is surely dead. But now we have been transformed, translated transition from the natural into the supernatural we have moved from the carnal into the spiritual into the glory of the king of kings and the lord of lord and before the throne of god almighty yes i agree to some people the water that I drink may be apparent. To some people, my Lord and the God that we serve might be apparent. But I know that when I drink this water, it is life. When I serve my Lord and follow the words of my God, it is life. And therefore, I cannot go and walk in darkness as if I don't know the truth of God's words. I cannot go back to dwell in the natural when I've tasted of the supernatural. I cannot go back into a Skoda when I've driven a Rolls Royce. I know the difference between the flesh and the power of the Almighty. I have tasted the goodness of God and I have known that with God all things are possible in the flesh. We are at the mercies of the spiritual realm because when we walk upon the earth we are born into battle and spirit are leading us one way and spirit are leading us another way but we have been counseled to follow the spirit of God therefore coming into his fold and walking with his flock I recognize that the rod that he has will protect me and also chastise me. I recognize that the rod that he has will beat away the wolf and every hyena that come to attack the flock. He does know how 
to protect his own. He does know how to deliver his own. He does know how to lead us into pastors green. He does know how to lead us beside still waters. I've recognized that this is the path I should go. I can never turn back. I've come into the supernatural and when I look upon the gear stick there is first gear second gear third gear fourth gear and there's neutral but there's no reverse there's no reverse we always have to be making progress towards the eternal calling of God there is no turning back there's no turning back. So do not be dismayed or be disheartened with a family, friends, or foe reject your testimony in God. You testify and glorify God and let it rest. If by the will of God they receive your testimony and God use it as a doorway to bring them into the fall, then glory to God. But if they reject your testimony, your testimony of truth, and do not enter through the door of your testimony, do not be offended and do not hold it against them for who knows if that's the door they should come through you are not the one doing the saving you are the one that's doing the testimony the testimony of god goodness the testimony of his mercy the testimony of his grace the testimony of his salvation you are here to testify of God goodness. The spirit of the living God is the one that works salvation. Let him work. Let God be God and you be servant. And don't worry if they don't like your fizzy water. Don't worry if they don't like the supernatural. It's okay. Just worry on your walk the way you are walking take the log out of your eye and don't worry about the speck in their eyes let us focus on our salvation as we walk with our Lord let us focus and work out our own salvation and let us rejoice in the supernatural because as it is written there is no more forgiveness after you turn from tasting of the glory to come if you have tasted the supernatural and turned back into the flesh then what hope have you who else will die for your sin who else will wash you clean if you turn away from Jesus Christ? Therefore, you'd have turned back to the destruction that was there before Jesus saved you. There's no reverse. There's no turning back. Don't let the temporal disappointment of anything in God cause you to make a permanent decision to be apart from God the parable of Lazarus in the scriptures where the rich man who had all this world could offer all this world could offer he died and went to hell and there was Lazarus the poor man that was at his gate that was only begging the crumbs of his table whom the dog would look lick his womb he also died 
and for his affliction that he suffered on earth, God brought him into the bosom of Abraham. Now, we have rule reverse. Those that delight themselves on earth end up in a terrible place. And those that suffered on earth was recompensed in the heavenlies. Yes, not use riches and ease of life to measure our relationship with God. But let God heart be your heart. Let the things that God love be the things that you love. For there, for in those things, if you do those things and delight yourself in those things, great would be your riches in heaven. Set your sights on things above, not on earth. Don't worry about the natural. Walk in the supernatural and trust God. Don't worry about those who don't like what you like. Focus on doing the things for God. Because when you set your heart on doing the things for God, God will set his heart and do the things for you. If you do the things that God delights in, he will do the things for you that you delight in. So let your heart reflect God's heart. And don't worry if they don't like your fizzy water, as I would say. Don't worry if they don't like the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And don't worry if they don't like Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God. Don't worry if they don't like them and don't accept them. Just worry about how you are walking with God. How are you are walking in truth? Because you yourself acknowledge something that they don't acknowledge. You have acknowledged that God is. You have acknowledged that Jesus Christ is the Savior. You have acknowledged that these things are true. So if you have acknowledged them, walk as though you believe your testimony. Walk in truth. And don't worry about those who do not believe. Don't worry about those who do not walk that way. Let God judge them and you judge yourself. And if you judge yourself and walk the way God wants you to walk, there is no condemnation, there is no judgment for you. So, as I would say, don't worry if they don't like the fish and water. And don't worry if they don't like your God. It's okay. Just worry about pleasing Him whom you call God. And pleasing our Lord and Savior. That is the blessed thing to do. And love your brother man. That is the completion of the story. Love your brother man. Do unto them as you like them do unto you. And love God above all things. Therefore, you be perfect in him. And remember, you have moved from the natural to the supernatural. Walk therein. And know that believing that God can and will do all things for you, it will manifest if you doubt not. He's moving and his spirit is moving across the earth. He's moving on your behalf to work out all things for you. Your hope, your dreams, your desire. It will come to pass. Put your hands to work and watch God bless them. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, and in the God that we serve, Jehovah, have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen, amen, amen.